So apparently, Dr. Disrespect situation got worse. I have no idea what's going on. We're about to check it out. And yeah, let's see we, if we got some answers. And finally, because up to this day, I, ha would know, I don't think anyone knows like why Dr. Disrespect got banned from Twitch. Like He wasn't allowed to talk about it. Twitch didn't come out with a statement or anything. So hopefully, we got some answers. Maybe not. Yeah, we're about to find out. So I hope you guys enjoy. As always, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, join the family. Yeah, let's get it. Wow, what a crazy day this has been. So I'm sure pretty much all of you that clicked on this video already know about what's happened with the Dr. Disrespect situation. Not me. I have no idea. To catch you up to speed with the briefest previously on Dragon Ball Z recap, Dr. <laughs> Disrespect was the face of Twitch. In 2020, mm -hmm. he was mysteriously banned from the platform and not a peep had ever been uttered about why. Mm -hmm. This was a secret more guarded than the Krabby Patty formula. I really thought we'd never know the reason that Dr. Disrespect was banned. Mm -hmm. I thought they'd be taken to the grave. I thought we'd... Which is the weirdest thing. So everyone was like, it has to be something like super, super like, you know what I'm saying? Back faster than light travel before we ever learned what the reason behind it was. But then from out of nowhere on just an average quiet Friday night... A former Twitch employee dropped a bombshell allegation claiming that Dr. Disrespect was banned due to sexting a minor through the Twitch Whisper service. Now, there was never any screenshots or evidence provided to- No way, that's- That's what I'm- I was saying there has to be something that's really like- To the point where not even Twitch want to talk about it because at the same time it's like- People gonna look at Twitch, parents gonna look at Twitch like, wait a minute. I thought this platform was safe for kids and this is coming out. That's why Twitch was like trying to bury it as much as damn, bro. Like that's that's some that's scary. Bro. Dropped a bombshell allegation claiming first first it was kick now Twitch. I that Dr. Disrespect was banned due to sexting a minor through the Twitch Whisper service. Now, there was never any screenshots or evidence provided to support that claim. However, some other parties came forward saying that they had all heard a similar reason behind the ban. Mm. Dr. Disrespect then made a response to that statement, which was less than satisfactory for most people with a functioning frontal lobe because he talked very vaguely about it and didn't actually outright deny the claim at all. So then he made oh a follow-up statement, which aimed to provide a... Not Dr. Disrespect, man. Not Dr. Disrespect, man. Bro, you work millions of dollars, even even though, but at the same time, it's like, bro, why? You can have any female in the world, bro. You couldn't have literally anyone in the world, bro. Like, why, man? A little more clarity, but it was still pretty vague, and both of these seemed to have, like, a lot of legalese talk to him to, try, like, kind of tiptoe around the topic itself. So both of his responses, like the tweets, weren't received overly well. It was like he just kept stepping on a rake like in a cartoon and hitting himself in the face. He wasn't doing himself favors with his statements. But then the credibility of the source of behind this allegation started to be called into question because oh, really? people did digging through their Twitter and found out they'd actually been dangling this carrot in front of their audience about they know the reason Dr. Disrespect's been banned and if you buy tickets to their concert, they might reveal it. So then people started to question that. And then today, hmm. Dr. Disrespect released another statement where he admitted to the claim of talking to a minor through Twitch whispers inappropriately. However, he denies that there was any real intent behind the message. It doesn't matter, bro. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the intent was. You still did it. You admit it, bro. It's... it's Bro, Dr. Disrespect, bro. What you got, bro? You, you get a real disrespectful, bro. Like, come on, man. Just, which is a crazy thing to say. Like, if any of you have watched To like, Catch a Predator, you'll recognize that tactic, that, that little maneuver right there. Mm. Because that's something that was pretty frequent on that show. When a predator went down and talked with Chris Hansen, a lot of them said that same thing pretty much. Damn. Like, bro. oh, no, 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 I didn't mean any of that. I was actually just teaching them a lesson about talking to strangers and the dangers of it. There was never any real intent behind the things that were said. Like, that's a very weird... You're not their parents, bro. <laughs> You're not... The... Are you their therapist are you their counselor you're not licensed you're you're not their parents bro like do their parents know that you're communicating with like, you see it's no bro thing to try and say 
So let's just go through his statement first though. The Twitch ban. Hello, I'd like to make a statement. Let's cut the bullshit. As you know, there's no filter with me. I've always been upfront and real with you guys on anything that I can be upfront about and I'm always willing to accept responsibility, which is why I'm here now. First and foremost, I do want to apologize to everyone in my community as well as those close to me, my team, and everyone at Midnight Society Game Studio. For those that don't know, I, I forgot to mention this in my like lore exposition on this. His company that he founded, Midnight Society Game Studio, which had been working on a game with him for a long time, announced really? yesterday that they were going to be terminating him after they conducted an investigation Damn. and after they assumed his innocence, found something through their investigation that made them uncomfortable keeping him around, so they let him go. GG's. It's over. It's over. If the company you're working with, right, is making a game and all that, and they're going to the extent of terminating the entire project and you and the relationship, yeah, it's, it's GG's, bro. It's it's yeah it's over bro dr disrespect bro like he's been a legend but it's it's over bro so that's why he's mentioning them here a lot of people have been left in the dark about what happened yesterday with midnight society and i and we made the painful decision collectively to have me step down our team is full of incredibly talented and good people that have high career ambitions and families i'd never want to jeopardize the culture we have carefully crafted now before getting into the rest of this, I do want to mention Midnight Society themselves said that he was terminated. Here he's saying that he stepped down like it was a mutual decision. I don't know if this is like a you can't fire me, I quit type of situation. You know, turn in the badge and the gun and go your separate way as a lone wolf or what? Like, there's just a bit of a discrepancy whether he was terminated by Midnight Society or if he himself and them left on good terms where he agreed to step down. Ultimately, the point is... He's no longer associated with, with that studio anymore after they conducted their own investigation into the subject. Yeah, done, Everyone buddy. has been wanting to know why I was banned from Twitch, but for reasons outside of my control, I was not allowed to say anything for the last several years. Now that two former Twitch employees have publicly disclosed the accusations, I can now tell you my side of the story regarding the ban. Were there Twitch whisper messages with an individual minor back in 2017? The answer is yes. I feel like all those time I hours I spent watching this man and being in chat and this and that bus went down the fucking drain, bro. Like goddamn, bro. Spurred messages with an individual minor back in 2017. The answer is yes. Were there real intentions behind these messages? The answer is absolutely not. Doesn't matter. These were casual, mutual conversations that sometimes lean too much in the direction of being inappropriate, but nothing more. Nothing illegal happened, no pictures were shared, no crimes were committed, I never even met the individual. I went through a lengthy arbitration regarding a civil dispute with Twitch, and that case was resolved by a settlement. Let me be clear. It no, Twitch didn't want to come out of the public eyes as a weird-ass company, so they was like, no, what, on our behalf to protect ourselves, we're gonna just be like under wraps and Dr. Disrespect was like, okay, cool, it's a win-win situation and yeah, until someone exposes it. So, you know what I'm saying? It's uh It was not a criminal case against me and no criminal charges have ever been brought against me. Now the doc actually edited this statement twice. So initially he posted it with the word minor in it, saying, Were there messages with an individual minor? The answer is yes. But then shortly after he published it, he edited the word minor out of it. So he mm. removed that. He redacted it like a fucking CIA document, trying to bury it, just snapping it out of existence. So then it read, were there messages with an individual? The answer is yes. But people were quick to notice the edit. And you can actually check edit history on Twitter, which I didn't know you can do. Yeah, you can do it on... I think I also do it on Facebook as well, too. Yeah. But you could clearly see that the original no longer matched the current one because he took the word <laughs> minor out. So when people caught him red-handed, he just edited it one more time to put the word minor back into it. Now, there is Let's a lot it. to say about just that small chunk right there, but I'm going to finish reading the statement first before we really dive into the weeds of it. Now, from a moral standpoint, I'll absolutely take responsibility. I should have never entertained these conversations to begin with. That's on me. That's on me as an adult, a husband, and a father. It should have never happened. I get it. I'm not perfect, and I'll fucking own my shit. This was stupid. Now, with all this said... Don't get it mistaken, I've seen all the remarks and labels being thrown around so loosely. Social media is a destruction zone. I'm no predator or pedophile, are you kidding me? Anyone that truly knows me knows where I stand on these things with those type of people. Fuck that. That's a different level of disgust that I hate even hearing about. Don't be labeling me as the worst of the worst with your exaggerations. Get the fuck out of here with that. 
But I think I've said what I needed to say regarding the ban itself. That's it. That's why Twitch made the decision in 2020. To my team, community, really. industry, friends that have supported me, I apologize. I wish I could have said all this sooner. You guys have always shown me and my family love and support throughout all these years. We love you guys like you can't imagine. I have the best community in circle. If any of this has made you uncomfortable, I get it. You don't have to support me anymore, but just know you have always been greatly appreciated. Oh, yeah, trust me. You don't have to worry about people not supporting you. Yeah, trust me. They... <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. Trust me when I say this. To all my haters that live and breathe social media with zero real-life experience, I don't give a fuck about you. Finally, if you're uncomfortable with this entire statement and think I'm a piece of shit, that's fine. I'm not going anywhere. Actual Wolf of Wall Street energy. I'm not fucking leaving. <laughs> and I'm not the same guy that made this statement all those years ago. I'm taking an extended vacation with my family, as mentioned on stream, and I'm coming back with a heavy weight off my shoulders. They want me to disappear. Yeah, fucking right. You know what it reminds me of? That last, like, bit. Oh, when he said, I'm going to take, like, an extended vacation. That's, like, that's like when a fucking, like, bad cop shoots someone, right? And they're guilty and whatnot, but they just, like, no, we we'll just give you paid leaves. And, like, he doesn't want to go on vacation while getting paid. That's basically what he's doing right now. And that's how I look at it, bro. It's just, like, okay, he does giving himself paid leave, basically. <laughs> he tries to close this statement with a really hard, cheesy 80s action movie one-liner. They want me to disappear. Yeah, fucking right. Granny shifting, not double clutching like you should. You're lucky you didn't blow the welds off the intake. I'm not leaving. <laughs> it's really kind of ridiculous to put that there with accusations like this. These are super serious. Like, this mm -hmm. isn't something people take lightly at all. In his own statement, he has openly admitted to messaging a minor and had conversations that were inappropriate or but we want him to disappear bro it's your actions like what are you like you feel me it's as he said leaned into being inappropriate now what's not clear and what a lot of people are coping with is that maybe dr disrespect didn't know the age of the person he was communicating with but i truly feel if that was the case dr disrespect would have mentioned that saying that he had those communications with this person that he believed was of age but turned out to be a minor. I think if that was the reality of that situation, if he truly communicated with someone that he thought was of age but turned out to be a minor, I think he would have mentioned that in this statement, but he didn't. He didn't say that he was under the impression he was communicating with an adult. He just says that he had conversations with an, in with an individual minor. He doesn't say anything like, oh, they were actually one day away from being 18 or i really thought they were you know in their 20s or, or anything yeah, like that you feel me? and like, i think if that was what happened it would have been mentioned here i really do but there's no mention of that so it's hard to give that benefit of the doubt that he, he didn't did yeah. know because i think he would have mentioned if that was the case i also think it's pretty telling that some of the closest people to dr disrespect are coming forward saying how unacceptable it was in distancing themselves from him because if he didn't know that he was communicating with a minor, he probably would have told them at the very least, but they're not saying that either. So here's Robert Bowling, one of his business partners here, saying, If you inappropriately message Good a minor, stuff. I cannot work with you. Period. I promised to only act on facts, and I did. So I just really don't think there's a whole lot of wiggle room about Doc not knowing that he was communicating with a minor. Like, I feel like there's been plenty of opportunities now for that information to have come out from somewhere, but nobody is saying that other than people theorizing and hoping that maybe that's the case but mm -hmm. doc himself has never said that that was a possibility he'd never even hinted that he didn't know the person's age and the people closest to him aren't saying that either so i really think that it's likely that he did know that and he still had these conversations that lean to being inappropriate with someone he knew to be a beyond minor, me which bro. is fucking disgusting now there are people still defending this saying well he didn't go to jail for it so what's the big deal can't wait for them I'm thinking Twitter. I'm just going to say that's just Twitter audience. Yeah, they're not real people. They're literally bots. They're just I AI. They're just Extreme like, you know, like, yeah. <laughs> Doc, firm handshakes. Like, there's people that are just dismissing this as not a big deal, which is insanity. I think that is pure lunacy. I can't fucking believe some of what I'm reading here from people that are just writing this off as not a big deal because it's a streamer they like. An adult Not me. I don't communicating care. inappropriately with a minor is bad. Full stop. It's inexcusable. No matter how you spin it, that is a horrible thing. Now, 
He may not have met up with the miner in question. However, was that his decision? Was he the one that decided not to meet up with him? Mm. Because with the information that's been come out, now, again, keep in mind, we don't have access to the, the chat log, like the conversations that took place, but from all the sources that have come out from, like, Bloomberg and all of that, it sounds like the conversation they had did talk about meeting up at TwitchCon. So, that right Ooh. there shows pretty real intent to meet up with this person. And who knows, maybe it was Yikes. the miner that ultimately got uncomfortable with this whole thing and called it off, not the doc. We, we don't know for sure. The only thing we do know for sure with what the doc just confirmed is that he was talking inappropriately with a miner, which is a terrible, terrible thing. And even his closest friends are saying they can't defend it. It's inexcusable. And I want to see like the list of all his streamer friends that came out and actually like now what we're actually going to distance ourselves from him. I want to see like the list of them. Right. It is inexcusable. But there are still people trying to defend it, as pathetic as that is. And Dr. Disrespect claims that he's going to come back at some point. And I have no doubt when he does, he's still going to have a massive audience. I, I can already tell oh, based yeah. on the amount of people jumping through hoops trying to find ways of justifying this and spinning it in ways where he doesn't look evil. Which is impossible, but they're doing their best. So I know when he comes <laughs> back, he will probably have tons of viewers and tons of donations out the fucking wazoo. Saying things like, keep your head up, Doc. Don't let cancel culture get you down. Uh, it's just a fucking cancel culture mob that, ca that See, came after knows. you. You're a victim of that mob. That's it. Which is just so unhinged. He has openly admitted, in his own words, to inappropriately talking to a minor. It's just craziness. So, that's the update to this whole Dr. Disrespect ban situation. That's really about it. So, yeah. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy. As always, please leave a there like, There are some questions comment, we may never know the answer. And subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one.